there's a place out there that's called the city four square. And John saw it coming down from God out of heaven. Yes. And Jesus is sitting on that throne. You don't believe it? Read Revelation 21, 22, and it'll show you, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify of me concerning these things. Glory to God. Now to the king eternal, immortal. Immortal. He is the first fruits of them that slept. Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Smash that, and we're going to be raptured. No, that's not what he's talking about. Paul is telling you, don't be ignorant, brother, concerning them that are asleep. I want you to understand those people that are asleep. When the trumpet sounds, they're going to come up out of the grave, and they're going to be caught up. The term in the Greek says snatched out, out of the mortal, and become immortal. Glory to God. Why? Because there's only one that didn't see corruption. <coughs> corruption <coughs> is not drinking, smoking, and gambling, and those things you shouldn't do. Don't misunderstand me. But corruption in the Greek means decay. The body turned back to thus thou art and thus thou shalt return. Adam, if you'd have listened to me, you could have stayed in paradise forever. But now you're going to what? Soul that sent us shall surely die. But those that obey me are going to be born again. And everything that was lost in the first Adam and his transgression has been regained in the second Adam and his obedience. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? They took him down from the cross. He went into hell. He went into Hades. He went into the grave. Three days later, he came up with the keys of death, hell, and the grave. He was not seen corruption. Death could not hold him body could not decay and God looked at that body raised that body up and made him both Lord and Christ and I'll buy you a brand new Cadillac sitting right out there in the front with a pink slip if that's not what your Bible says. Amen. Hello. Yes. I bought one off from Tyler over here. What does it say? Now I'm the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. Hallelujah. Said in the Quran, don't say three, there's only one God. Well, we're not really sure. God's not a corporation. Hallelujah. God doesn't divide it up among anybody. Well, Jesus stand on the right hand of God. Stephen saw him stand on the right hand of God. And uh, it, 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 the book talks about the right hand of God, and it, it, it is a metaphoric uh, of the authority. God put into that resurrected, glorified body. When it came up, they said, let us touch you. And Jesus said, don't touch me. If you touch me, you corrupt me with flesh. Don't touch me. Because yes. I've got to send unto my Father, and to your Father, and to my God, and to your God. Amen. A few days later, all of them get and ran out together, casting lots. I don't know, maybe they were playing old maid or something, but they'd all of them get and run out together, and Jesus appeared in their midst. Hallelujah. Remember his brothers? Jude was there, and James was there, and John was there. Old Daddy Thomas was there. And he said, except I'm able to touch his hands and put my hand in the scar in his side, I will not believe that he came up out of the grave. Glory to God. Incorruptible. Jesus looked at him. Yeah, Thomas. Touch my hands, catch. And Thomas did not blaspheme. He did not commit idolatry. But
But he cried out, my Lord and my God. And the only interpretation in the Greek and the Arabic and the Hindu and the, 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 the Oki that you can find out of my Lord and my God is the supreme Yahweh, the supreme Jehovah, Jesus Christ, became the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Yes. Hallelujah. Infidels? First Corinthians, the eighth chapter in the 46th verse. First Corinthians, the eighth chapter in the 40. Six verse. See now, now Paul wasn't a brother of Jesus. He wasn't there when Jews was around. But Paul was a highly educated intellectual individual that was well versed in all of the Hebrew traditions and the Torah and the Law and the Prophets, he knew it all. He was going to be the high priest of the temple. And, and there came one day the light shined down from heaven. And Paul, I read that Saul of Tarsus was knocked off of the beast of burden there at, at, at noonday. And, and uh, Saul of Tarsus laying there on the ground, blind. He heard a voice, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Hallelujah. Saul said, who art thou? And he said, I'm Jesus, whom you persecuted. So the one that they could not touch in his resurrection as quick as he had presented himself under the invisible God that created the heavens and the earth, he so pleased the eternal heavenly Father that God placed in him all of the authority of the Godhead bodily, and he became the Lord Jesus Christ. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify me concerning these things. Is that right or not? Yes. Yeah. Thank God I used to be able to preach again bobbed hair and lipstick and uh, patent leather shoes and get people jumping up and down and rolling the aisles and you couldn't get into our corners, many people. I found out that ignorance just breeds ignorance. Listen to what that is said. In 1 Corinthians 8, chapter 46, verse, I'm going to quit because I started there listening. I might not get quit early, but I mean. I'm at four to six, not forty six. Some of you still looking, but not that many in there. Four through six. Now it's concerning therefore the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice on the idols. We know that an idol is nothing in the world. You want to bet? <coughs> we know that an idol is nothing. <coughs> Hallelujah. And if there is none other God but one. Yes. And I look and I, I, I look in the dictionary and I look in, in, in all of them and, and, and the only wise God, Webster says only without others or anything further, only, only, that's it. Yes. 